welcome to today's session of our virtual open house on behalf of the Coherent Company. My name is Thorsten Fierber. I'm product line manager, industrial laser marking systems at the business unit Tools in the south part of Germany next to the city of Munich. I'm glad to present you today our label marker advanced device, a dedicated tool for laser manufacturing on labels. What we see on this device, it's just consuming an economic footprint because all combined in a single housing. So it's pretty space efficient. It's a standalone device where in the manual mode, labels can be processed according to the general user interface um, by manual operation or full automated mode in connection to a manufacturing execution system. When we look for the structure of this system, we have an upper section, which is basically the processing chamber of the label material itself, where label transport, guidance, laser marking, kiss cutting takes place, and the displacement unit offers at the end of the system the um, output of the particular manufactured labels. The below section is the section in order to combine the, and accommodate the uh, supply units, uh, chillers if necessary, uh, industrial PCs, so everything is conveniently put in a single footprint device and is just to be extended with an exhaust system because an exhaust system is necessary in order to remove the debris of the actual processing of the label material. When we take a closer look, um, we have the opportunity to operate the system with a generic user interface based on a 15 sole um, touchscreen display. We have the possibility for a manual keyboard in there um, in a tray to hide if it's not necessary in order not to provide any kind of obstacle contour. We have the possibility to open the chamber itself in order to take a closer look what is in there. So that means we see the entire processing area of the label material starting from the guiding rails um, where the actual foil material is placed into, into a guided foil transport via a pressure pad into the actual laser chamber where under class one laser safety requirement the label cutting and the label marking takes place. We have a small conveyor belt in order to transport the label to the displacement unit and a mechanical singulation knife in order to singulate the actual sheet. The applicable foil material is an acrylate-based uh, two-layer structure uh, which provides a high contrast. We have a top surface in black and we have a lower section in white, so that means the laser basically ablates the particular surface in order to create contrast. The kind of foil is called either laser ablation foil or laser color film. Various manufacturers and suppliers are available in the market in order to cover this demand. This material is carrying the glue in order to put it on the carrier taper. The carrier taper is basically the carrier in order to bring a selection of different labels on a single sheet to an individual part where these labels are applied. The main advantage of this kind of laser material is um, a higher in counterfeit production safety because at the end when we are trying to remove it from a surface where it is applied it can be easily destroyed and falls apart into several pieces so that means they can't be just disconnected and applied somewhere else it is entirely destroyed and provides for with this a very high counterfeit safety that makes these kind of uh, label materials and labels ideal for high value products products for example like cars, motorcycles, trucks, yellow goods etc which are carrying the so-called vehicle identification number it's a kind of identification document of a particular um, vehicle and it's a safety document and it's unique per car or per truck or per motorcycle and it has uh, to maintain a high safety um, level in order to be accepted by the authority regulations. The whole system is controlled via a very sophisticated and convenient uh, general user interface which comprises uh, several software packages. We have um, HMI which is controlling the process flow, the visual laser mark foil 2. Basically this is the end, the sequence where I can select the file, 
I can execute a file and where I can determine information which is coming from manufacturing execution systems. These manufacturing execution systems are usually the leading part in order to do the synchronization, the cycle, um, the kickoff of a particular label manufacturing. So that means uh, flexible data comes uh, from host systems, um, from interfaces, which are to a certain extent standardized. But um, the majority of uh, Western automakers have their own individual manufacturing execution systems. And because of the global spread of this device, because it's available for a long time already, um, with an installation rate of more than 200, 300 lasers, laser units, basically you can imagine that for these particular OEMs, uh, existing solutions are available. Um, in case of a demand of a new solution, basically Coherent offers the support on software development in order to connect your manufacturing execution system. In addition uh, to the Visual Mark controller, which is controlling the process flow, we need a powerful software package in order to generate the layout of the actual label design. This layouting software, our Visual Laser Marker, is a powerful and object oriented what you see is what you get uh, programming interface. It allows uh, a very flexible and convenient uh, design of particular label contents. And um, this comprises industrial codes, um, all kinds of text formats, barcodes, diagrammatic codes, variables for floating content, and as well as uh, space holders for information which is coming from external hosts and which are flexible and individual per label. Last but not least, the whole package is um, completed with a maintenance tool. This laser console is uh, basically a maintenance tool in order to understand the current condition of the system, to run it in a manual mode in order to generate testing on this, in order to prevent do preventive maintenance on the system, and also is the information center for any kind of information messages or error messages, which can be then, um, first of all, recognized, understood, and as well solved. When we take a closer look to the actual processing of the laser and uh, look again into um, the foil unit, the foil unit is a modular designed um, mechanical unit. We have in the first hand um, a possibility to load the individual foil roll. The foil roll width usually vary between 120 and 100 millimeters. This is usually based on the individual requirements of our customers in regard of the label design, the content of the individual label sheets, so how many labels are applied, and as well the label sizes. This foil roll can be um, input here on this um, single mechanical device, and uh, we have a foil transport via guiding rails and pressure pad into the chamber where the laser pressing takes place. This chamber is equipped with a laser safety class, so it's a class one safety device, um, so that means all the laser operation takes place under um, the safety regulations without violating any kind of laser protection. The laser here uh, mounted on top with a scan it uh, can be either a dye pump solid state laser, infrared laser or a Q-switch fiber laser uh, in order to generate this marking and kiss cutting of the label material. We have different power levels. The different power levels decide on the performance factor. The performance factor is simply uh, a faster or slower cycle of the individual label manufacturing and this is based on the throughput or the demand of the actual manufacturing sequence of the customer. Once the label is marked and cut inside the laser chamber, it's still movable by a belt inside because we can understand that a single label shield can comprise more than just a single label. In other words, in order to save material, in order to really move the part forward and backward, which is bigger than this actual marking chamber, at the end we need a possibility to move the carrier. And in addition, once it is completed, basically uh, we have a mechanical cutting knife which is then responsible to cut the paper carrier where the foil material is applied on in order to simulate the actual sheet and an output tray uh, with individual tray sizes, uh, individual tray amounts or numbers can be then accommodating the actual file in a sorted manner. When we take a look on the processing, um, how this works, uh, I like to demonstrate to you uh, such a label processing. So this is basically the label layout, what we have designed. And um, this is then just the possibility for the operator 
to select this particular file name. Why we have these different execution levels? It's a safety feature basically because nobody wants an operator during the normal manufacturing to manipulate um, even by accident or by fault the actual label design or the label content. So therefore this operational HMI is necessary in order to offer the individual software management levels. So I have a, I'm a designer on the engineer level to do the label layout, to design what, what else has to be um, considered. Or if I'm an operator who is basically just executing files, so I have the opportunity to select the individual file name, to start, stop it, and as well determine the amount of labels per sequence. Last but not least, the maintenance level is also possible. The maintenance level at the end um, is rather related to the other software packages I uh, explained before, um, where a kind of manual mode is run on this system to uh, observe and to do and execute uh, preventive maintenance. I have selected now a file. Um, this single file now is uh, by name possible to load to the job, so I'm loading the job and I can decide on the quantity how many of these labels I want to apply. Let's say we take two and I'm just starting the sequence. Once the sequence has started, um, we see that basically foil is already loaded in the chamber. So that means we are starting the exhaust system, the vacuum starts inside the laser chamber. We see how the kiss cutting and the label marking takes place. We see the foil transport, we hear the noise of the mechanical cutting knife and the knife cuts the label and singulates the sheet. So once this is done, we can take out the individual sheet from the selected uh, collecting tray. This unit is equipped with a double collecting tray, so that means if I have a different file format, which is comprising um, a bigger layer or bigger size of the actual foil uh, label, Basically, I can do the output in a sorted manner in order not to mix up the individual kinds of labels. The modular concept, how the system is architectured and built, basically allows also a very easy way of doing preventive maintenance and regular cleaning tasks. You can imagine uh, this label material processing causes a high level of debris. There's glue inside, so that means regular cycles of cleaning have, has to be performed at the system. All the things are easy to disassemble in order to attach it by the customer with, uh, let's say, instructions how to do a proper cleaning in, in the laser chamber and as well the protection glass and the scan head are also easy to open and to access. The laser itself is a purely echo system, so that means uh, the level of preventive maintenance and general maintenance is reduced to a very, very low level. At the end, it's just the question of cleaning a few filters, but there is no need for any kind of uh, water circle, etc., to be maintained. The system in production environment, of course, is operated by closed cover, and the operator by the touch screen has an easy way to load and execute a single job. So thank you for your time. Thank you for joining the virtual open house at Coherent. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned and goodbye.